Health shares jumped 76 percent in their Abu Dhabi trading debut. And Aqua Power to develop a $4 billion hydrogen project in Egypt. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Shares of Pure Health Holding jumped 76 percent in its trading debut on the Abu Dhabi Bourse today after the healthcare solutions provider raised $986 million through an IPO earlier this month. Pure Health shares climbed to $1.56 against its offer price of 89 cents a share. Saudi-listed Aqua Power has signed the framework agreement to develop the first phase of a $4 billion green hydrogen project in Egypt. It has a capacity of 600,000 tons per year of green ammonia. Aqua intends to scale up to a second phase with a potential capacity of 2 million tons per year. Egyptian edtech startup iSchool has raised $4.5 million in its latest funding round led by Ireland's Venture Wave Capital. iSchool will use the funds to broaden its operations across six more countries in the MENA region and Ireland. iSchool offers live classes in various subjects. Adnoc has signed a 15-year deal with the Singapore-based subsidiary of ENN Natural Gas to supply a minimum of 1 million metric tons per annum of LNG. It will be sourced from Adnoc's low-carbon Ruiz LNG project, currently under development. Deliveries are expected to start in 2028. Malaysia has banned Israeli-flagged cargo ships from docking at its ports. Ships going to Israel are also barred from loading cargo at any port in Malaysia. Malaysia says it's in response to Israel's actions that ignore basic humanitarian principles and violate international law through the ongoing massacre of brutality against Palestinians. British inflation has dropped sharply to the lowest level in more than two years on falling petrol prices, easing a cost of living crisis after aggressive interest rate hikes. The CPI hit 3.9 percent in November from 4.6 percent in October. It's the lowest rate since September 2021. The EU's General Court has annulled the European Commission's 2020 decision to approve French state aid worth $7.67 billion for Air France. The case is one of many brought by Ryanair against the state aid granted throughout Europe to airlines to help them survive the pandemic. In today's Forbes Real Time Billionaires ranking, our biggest winner is Elon Musk. He's up $3.7 billion, now with net wealth of $257.6 billion. Our second biggest winner is Prajogo Pangestu, up $2.4 billion. And our biggest loser today is Gautam Adani, down $4.4 billion. Generative AI at work, like automated customer support roles, could widen the racial wealth gap between black and white American households by $43 billion by 2045, according to McKinsey. Black workers are employed in occupations most at risk of automation, worsening the racial wealth gap and hampering black economic mobility. I'm Ramia Faraj. This is The Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.